Who do you see yourself dating? I literally talked about this last stream. I do not see myself dating anybody right now unless a girl came into my life that checked every single box. Lena. Yeah, you guys are drones, bro. Lena literally was on call with me and then 10 hours later was in a call with playing, playing that new game with clicks talking about, oh, I like you when it goes in and out. Method man? Well, I know Lena doesn't actually, you know what I'm saying? Anna? I do, I really f*** with Anna, I do. I think Anna's cool. Um, She's definitely the most, like, mature girl I've ever talked to. But I told you guys, it's like, someone has to check off all my boxes. And, like, it's not, this is just in general, not specified to anybody. It's not something I want to do is have to worry about what someone's out doing at a party every single night. Like that's not something I that's not something I have time to worry about nor do I want to worry about that. You know what I mean? Like I you guys can say work when I'm streaming and working. That's my job. That's how I make money. That's how I make a living. I cannot be think, sitting here thinking about, "Oh, shit, what if this person's doing this with the, with a guy tonight? What if they're, you know what I'm saying? Like that's not something that I want to have to worry about. Date Madison Beer. I don't need to date anyone. I don't have to date anybody right now. Plus, Anna's literally moving. And you're tripping if you think I would ever date somebody who lives in a different state and parties. I, that would, like, could you imagine the mental torture I would have to go through? Darla lived in a different state. I would never dated Darla. I guess. What do you mean? Me and Darla never dated. We were never boyfriend and girlfriend. How is that sus? You had feelings, obviously, but we weren't dating. Moved to Nashville. So you guys want me to leave FaZe and leave LA to move to Nashville with Anna. No, I would never do that. I've been married doing long distance for the past few years. I just couldn't do it, bro. Because you guys got to realize every person's different, especially when it comes to relationships. Every person's different. Every person has different feelings, different ways they want things, different. Like, every person's different. There's no way I could do long distance. Date Sa, then. Sa said I'm not her type. I don't know. Part of me feels like... I'm super limited to who, like, I'll date now. Like, part of me feels like I'm very limited to only gonna be able to date people who I knew before I started streaming. Like, in my head right now, when I think of someone who could be my girlfriend, there's only, like, two or... There's only, like, three people who come to mind. <clears throat> come to mind. Katie? Uh, nah. Nah. Tell us. I mean, when I think of, like... Someone I would see myself actually being in a relationship with. The only two people that come to mind would be... It sounds bad, but... Jay. And Anna. But, like I said, I wouldn't date anyone right now unless they checked every box. And... I don't think... Um, I don't think it's a good idea to get into a relationship with somebody who's not ready for a relationship. Or no. Other way around. No, I don't think it's a good idea to get into a relationship when you're not ready for a relationship. Jay is not Jason, you idiot. Low key, I would date Jason. Is that gay? Bro, because the way it works right now in my life is like... I'll go full screen. Ask yourself, do you feel ready for a serious relationship? Probably not. Because I don't know, like, some things that I feel, like, towards girls, I feel like it's not normal. Wait, that might sound really weird. Like, like, is it normal to, like, like, for, I don't know, maybe I just got my whole vision blurred by the last girl I talked, like, you guys know who I'm talking about. Because things that I had issues with, 
I was manipulated into thinking that I that it was an issue that I had an issue with it, if that makes sense. Like, this is just an example. Going to a club and with a girl, and she ends up in a section with a bunch of guys. I was, like, it was, somehow it ended up being an issue that I had an issue with that. Not Anna, no. I have never went to a club with Anna. I'm not talking about Anna. Or, like, I think it was more of a thing where it was, like, I was brainwashed to think that things that aren't normal, it was like me being insecure. There was one time where someone got a text from their ex and I saw it and I was like tripping out about it. I was like, why, like, why, why are you even having a conversation? And somehow it flipped on me being insecure because I, because I don't even, I don't even remember. I don't know. I mean, I'm definitely an insecure person, but I'm also very territorial. Like, if I have a girlfriend or a girl, I don't want you being friendly with other guys. And I, that doesn't mean I don't want you talking to other guys. Like, sure, like, you know what I'm saying? You could have, you could talk, to, not talk, but like, you could have, you could, you could be kind to other guys, but I don't want you being friendly with other guys. Like, a guy comes up and, like, you give him, you know what I'm saying? Is that, is that, is that insecure or is that normal? Like, I don't want my girlfriend is, I don't know if this is insecure, but I don't want my girlfriend going, going out with a bunch of guys. Is that insecure or is that, is that normal? You deaf brainwashed, you should know it's normal. I, I mean, I was, I really did get brainwashed. You guys don't understand how, like, how manipulated I really was. Like, I got manipulated to think things that would never, like, that literally would never let fly were normal. Like, insane things. Because I was so blinded by how I felt. How do you allow yourself to do that? I mean, bro, you only would understand it if you've been in that position. It was like, like I get you guys are probably, most of you guys are probably like younger and don't understand that. But like when you genuinely like have a love for someone or like very strong feelings, you, you like get blinded by what you feel. And you try to, you try to, picture that person in your head how you want them to be instead of how they actually are and you ignore every red flag every issue and you try to like you try to like pick the good and make it outweigh the bad and you fall in love with the idea of someone instead of who they actually are like I had this idea of her in my head that was completely different than who she actually was even though it was right in front of me like every sign was right in front of me Every single sign, not only every sign, but I had every person around me telling me and explaining to me, yo, this is what's happening. And I was so blinded that I literally couldn't, I, I like, I couldn't piece it together because I was so, so blinded. But that's a thing that like, you have to, you have to go through, like people can't, people can't protect you with certain things in life. Some things you just have to go through. The highs were too high. The highs weren't even high, though. They really weren't even high, to be honest. It was a thing in my head where it was like what the highs could, like... Like I said, I literally, I fell in love with what I thought she was. I, like, made, I, like... But I also think I'm sick. Like, I'm not sick, but, like, I'm a fucking, I'm a, like... I'm sick because for some reason, I, like... This sounds bad. I've never even talked about this, but like I enjoyed the toxicity, if that makes sense. I don't know why, but like that shit feels like a game to me. Like part of me like actually enjoyed the toxicity of like, dude, I don't know how to explain it. It was like, it was like, like the talk, I like, I don't know.